Hey guys, today I'm doing a review on the Engage Industries WIP Series Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Hey guys, Carlo here and today I'm doing a review on the Engage Industries WIP Series Boxing Gloves. It comes in this all white with black and orange colorway. I got mine in 14 ounces, lace up closure. You can also get these in Velcro. Anywhere between eight and 16 ounces. It utilizes a synthetic leather outside casing and triple layer foam over the knuckle area that has a more firm consistency and feel to it. And I believe the gloves are manufactured in Pakistan. Now from a profile and a design standpoint, I'd say that these gloves are right in the middle in terms of stature. They're not overly huge and they're not super compact. So that really bodes well for those of you that have medium sized hands. If you're looking for something that's, I guess you want to call true to size, you know, sometimes you get gloves, some Mexican style gloves that um, the hand compartment's too roomy, even with hand wraps on. So you feel like your hand kind of shifts around on the inside of the glove. And then sometimes you get gloves that are way too compact and you put them on. And if you're an individual that has larger hands, longer fingers, uh, it could be uncomfortable because the gloves are too tight. I'd say that these are right there in the middle. Um, I got mine in 14, so I could imagine that the 16s are a little bit more roomier, not by much, but enough for anybody, uh, really any kind of size hand. If you wanna go with something smaller, more compact for maybe bag work, uh, hitting the mitts, then you have the option to go smaller to like an eight or a 10 ounce glove. Um, you can see that the synthetic on here has kind of a satin shine to it. Um, the synthetic they use on these gloves really remind me uh, the synthetic that Sanibel uses like in their Battle Forged gloves. Uh, has a very similar feel and texture to it. A higher quality synthetic, definitely better than some of the cheaper uh, synthetic gloves you see out there in the market from China or from Everlast. Um, so definitely nicer um, and it does have a little bit of a texture, texture to it that they try to replicate to make it feel kind of like a, a genuine leather glove, but you can definitely tell it's synthetic. You have the Engage Industries logo on the back of the glove and also the weights, eight to 16 ounces. I think that's kind of unique. It kind of gives the glove, I don't know, like a techie feel. It reminds me of like a newspaper in a way where you have this all written on here. And honestly, I don't really know how to feel about that. Like it's, it's kind of cool, it's unique. You don't see other, glo you know, other gloves that have, you know, the actual eight, 10, 12, 14, 16. Uh, but on the flip side, I can see that that's, some people can kind of like kind of tacky and they don't like the way that looks. You know, they would have rather had something cleaner where it's just maybe just, the Engage logo and then you just remove that and it's just the Engage logo, but it does have that um, handmade precision, premium materials, class A plus. So again, it has kind of like a tech like feel to it. And one thing I do like is that the back of the, the wrist support, it doesn't actually have a patch. That's actually printed onto the, the synthetic material. Uh, so you don't have to worry about any kind of sharp edges uh, with a cloth or a plastic patch. So I do like that. I do like that feature, especially gonna use these gloves for sparring. You don't have to worry about any sharp edges cutting into it. Um, so you do have that. It does say 14 ounces, says engage, we are all fighters. Uh, INT International Supply, established 2015. And again, their logo right there. Uh, rotating to the palm side, um, it's just basically their version of the type of padding they use, Cortec. Multi-layered foam, impact control, wrist support, moisture protect, thumb stay, shock absorption. So it's basically just their verbiage or verbiage that they use to describe uh, the foam and basically an attached thumb. Um, on the other side, uh, again, it says handmade precision, battle tested. So just more, uh, more or less, just just more marketing and designs that they put on here. It says engage vertically. You also have ventilated holes on the palm as well as the thumb. You do have that orange piping around the thumb, a attached thumb right there. I'd say that the grip bar on here is larger and has a good firmness to it, not ultra stiff, uh, but not too soft. So right there in the middle in terms of the density of that foam, uh, that grip bar. Uh, coming down to the wrist, you do have a nice tricot liner, although the liner on the inside of the thumb feels more like a canvas. So you do have that tricot liner on the inside. Uh, that says engage right there that's printed into the liner there's no actual tags on the inside of this glove you have these nice long white laces flat laces with the plastic tips on the end the laces are super long so for those of you that have had gloves that have too short of laces uh, you don't get that the, the wrap around that you would want to have with these you can definitely get a nice lock in with your wrist when you tie your wrist up with these because of the length of the laces so that's a really uh, nice feature to give you long laces 
Uh, so that's pretty much it. You can see it's a very attractive looking glove overall in white. I kind of wish that they gave us other colorways as, as well, like blue, red, uh, black, gold. It would be kind of nice to have other colors to choose from just instead of this white and black. Uh, quality wise, the gloves are pretty good. Um, the weight was a little overweight. I believe the right glove is like 14.2. The left glove is like 14.6 ounces, so they're a hair overweight. But again, for training gloves, um, you know, I'm not super concerned about that. It's just something that you keep in mind. Uh, the glove distribution of weight is really well balanced. You can see that they do a nice job of distributing the foam uh, padding throughout the back of the glove towards the front of the glove where the hand sits in there. And you do have, I'd say, about an inch of hard density foam, but then you also have a softer foam that lines up against your hand. Um, on the inside of the wrist, you have, I'd say, maybe half an inch on the inside where the thumb is at, ends right there. And pretty much the same thing on this side and it ends where the stitching is at. You have about a half inch of foam. So that helps keep the structure of this glove true. You don't have that flop point right here in the middle. Sometimes you have gloves where right here in the middle, you don't have a lot of support on the wrist and the, and the glove kind of, kind of flops around. So you have good distribution of weight with the glove. Um, the synthetic leather on here, again, very similar to what I've seen in some other companies like Sanibel they use in their Battle Forge. It's held up really nicely. It cleans off well. If you have like a damp rag after you're done using these gloves, uh, you could wipe it off. I did notice that I got a couple scuffs, so I ended up using a magic eraser to remove the scuffs off the synthetic. But like other synthetics, it's not genuine leather, so you don't have to really worry about conditioning this material because it's not meant to be conditioned. It's not an actual skin per se. So the best way to clean these is I typically use like a damp rag and let them air out but they've held up nicely you can see that the stitching is all done clean symmetrical the outside edges are done very nicely as well uh, where the thumb meets the index finger is good you have double stitching throughout the wrist support looks good the piping the inside liner is done very nicely again the edges on the outside kind of rolls around so overall, I mean, it's done really nicely. You can see the piping along the lace track. I'd say maybe right here where the holes are punched out, could be done a little bit cleaner. There's a little bit of fraying on these little holes where the laces go through. Other than that, done very nicely. I guess the biggest thing out of this would be just the weight being a little bit overweight. Comfort wise, slide your hand into the glove. Again, feel true to size. You can see just on my forearm how they look. So you can use my body as a reference. I'm five foot eight. Right now I'm like 155. And uh, you can see it's pretty much a true to size glove. Really can use this for sparring, hitting the heavy bag, doing the mitts, relatively everything in the gym you can use these for. So good length in terms of the cuff length right there. Um, the tri liner is really nice, feels comfortable. My, head, my hand slides in easily. You don't have to worry about your hand feeling like it's being choked out. Thumb positioning is, is pretty much perfect. Uh, and this piping, you see the length of the piping, sometimes the piping is a little bit too short. And because of that, it really digs into the fat part of your thumb right here. Uh, with this, they, you have a nice longer piece of piping, so it allows the glove to kind of stretch out a little bit in this area particularly. And that's an area that's kind of a pet peeve of me personally, because if it's too tight there, that's, that's definitely an area that you get a lot of discomfort. And I, I have medium-sized hands. I don't have large hands by any means. So uh, for those of you that have larger hands, then I can definitely see that being an issue. Uh, the attached thumb, you can see that when I make a fist, it doesn't pull down on the tip of the thumb, so the depth is perfect. And the finger compartment, again, good size depth and width. So wide enough to accommodate all my fingers, not too narrow, but I don't feel like there's a big void in the hand compartment in this area. Typically, that's where you find a little bit of a void, like an opening, and your hand kind of jiggles around. Uh, you don't have that with these gloves, so it feels very comfortable. Um, and the other feature I really like, aside from the thumb, is going to be this neoprene pad they put over the stitching on the fingertip compartment. Um, and it's, it's, it's pretty noticeable. You can fill it right there with your finger and you push down on it and it just feels like this extra piece of padding. Uh, and basically over time, your, your finger kind of makes his, little, make, makes his own little imprint on that pad on the inside. So I definitely love the fact that they put that and you don't just feel like exposed stitching on the fingertip compartment. So definitely a very comfortable glove. It does take a little bit of time to break in. There's some initial stiffness with this glove when you first start using it because of the density of the foam that they use on here, but it will break in. You just gotta put these through the rounds and it'll start to soften up. Um, protection and performance, to me, this is more of a protective glove. Uh, shock absorbent, it def definitely has a little bit more of a firm feel to the foam padding. 
Um, but that's a good thing. Over time, it'll start to break down and you can really use this again for everything in the gym. Sparring, hitting the mitts, working the heavy bag. Um, the feedback on it is average. I'd say that, you know, in terms of being able to feel your knuckles sink through, uh, being more of a puncher style glove, that, this is definitely not that type of glove. To me, this is more of a protective training glove that over time will start to soften up uh, the more you use it. But initially, you, you definitely feel that the, the foam on here is a little bit on the stiffer side. And you can see it takes a lot of effort for me to really open my palm if I really want to parry or parry shots uh, on this side. So just kind of soften that up. And over time, you'll definitely get a little bit more of uh, that feel to where you can open your hand all the way. Cost-wise, these gloves are $99.95. So for the sake of uh, rounding up, these are $100 gloves. Um, I'd say that they're right there at the sweet spot of where you're looking for for a training glove. Um, the only issue I'd say with these is that there's so many competitors out there now that make a synthetic style glove that are very comfortable, that at the $100 price point, um, you know, for me, if you don't offer other colorways um, and just other styles of this type of glove, I feel like there's other companies like Infinitude, even Venom makes a synthetic glove like in a $78, like the Venom Impacts. Um, that are, you know, just as good in my opinion. I feel like these are good, um, but at the price point of $99, it's really like in a hotbed in terms of so many other gloves to choose out there. It would make it really hard for me. If I were to lay these down on a table and you put the impacts, uh, you put like the MK1 gloves, which I think are like 120 now, and a couple other gloves that I really like a lot, against these it would be really hard for me to pick these over the others so not a bad glove at the price point it, it does everything really well uh you know the quality is really good um, they're comfortable uh, the foam padding is is nice and protective uh, but i think at the price point maybe if they brought this if this was like a 70 dollars glove then it would, to me it would be a no-brainer uh, so the main pros for this glove is really nice quality construction they're very comfortable and they have very protective padding. Um, the cost of this glove is there's only one colorway, which is gonna be this white and black. Um, I feel like the padding is a little stiff initially, uh, so it's gonna take a little bit of breaking in. And then, um, to me, the weight being overweight by like half an ounce, not a huge deal, but it is something that uh, you wanna mention. Um, and then just, to me, the price point, a little bit high for a synthetic glove, especially because there's so many other competitors out there at a similar, if not more affordable price point. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these Engage Industries WIP Series boxing gloves. See you guys later. Take care.